So we've already worked this problem. We know um, all our knowns and our unknowns. So we're gonna plan out our steps. When I plan out the steps for ratio proportion, it just helps me see it all. So hopefully that helps you guys too. So you're gonna take our, we know we have our milligrams per day, right? So we can take our milligrams per day. So we get to our, oh, maybe I didn't, milligrams per dose. And then we can get to our tabs per dose that we're gonna give. Okay, so once we know that, um, we can set up our proportion, right? And make sure that our units match. So we need to set the proportion and we know that 2,600 milligrams is in four doses, right? That's our relationship. So we're gonna write that. And then we wanna figure out how many milligrams, so that's X milligrams, is equal to each one dose. So remember that we always have to make sure our units match. So here we see we got milligrams on the top, we have dose on the bottom, so we are good. We can go next to our um, cross multiplication here. Okay, so when you cross multiply, you're gonna get your 4x equals 2600. And of course we have to um, divide by four, right? Because we need to get x alone. So x equals, what did you guys get? Do we get 650 milligrams? And so we see that that's gonna tell us our milligrams per dose, right? But we still have to do another proportion. Remember how I said with those rules you go, or those steps, you go back and forth between setting up proportions and solving for it until you get to your desired unit. So next we're gonna take this 650 milligrams to figure out how many tabs per dose. So we're gonna set up one more proportion. So when we do that, we take our 650 um, milligrams of tablets and we need to know how many tablets to give, right? So we need that relationship. 650 milligrams, we wanna know how many tablets that is, so X tabs. And then what we know is our 325 milligrams are in each one tab. So now we can just verify again that our units all match and they do. And so we can do our cross multiplication. So when we cross multiply here, we get 650 equals our 325x. And of course we have to divide by our 325 to get x alone. And we see here that we get the same x equals two taps, which makes sense, right? So we just do our verification here the same that we would um, with our dimensional analysis. So we're checking, make sure the number plugs in and checking to make sure we have round properly. We see that that's correct.